Hello, I'm Brianne Leeming, and I'm the founder of Jump Smart. Jean Piaget was a famous developmental psychologist who said that knowledge is a consequence of experience. He was one of the first to say, to realize that hands-on learning and learning by creating is the best way to learn. When I was eight years old, I played a game at school called Microworlds, where we navigated this little turtle around our computer screens. We could make pictures and animations and even games with it. And I thought it was a really fun game, and I didn't really think about it after third grade. Until when I was in college, I took a computer science course and realized right away that when I had been playing Microworlds when I was eight years old, I had been learning how to code computers. And I had no idea at the time. It helped me in my computer science class in college, but it also helped me later on in my career in technology and product development. It even contributed to my desire to study neuroscience in undergrad because I wanted to learn how people think and how people learn. One thing that we know about how people learn is that when kids have a fixed, man, a fixed mindset, they don't see their intelligence as something that they have an effect on. But with a growth mindset, they're so much more successful in life because they're willing to take these cha challenges and embrace, and embrace the challenges and continue through, these, through um, the growth mindset. And that is what Jump Smart puts into our own product. We allow kids to work hard through obstacles. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to recreate the experience of jump, of, that I'd had with Microworlds, but in a physical way, because I didn't want to build another computer game where kids were sitting down staring at the screen. This is Jump Smart. It's an electronic pad on the ground with lights and sensors in it. And kids can jump on the pad and interact with it. But the best part is kids age 8 to 13 can program the pad into any game or design that they could think of. So it adds physical activity into the process of learning to code and into the process of the engineering process in general. This is another example of what could go on the Jump Smart pad. So we're leveraging on what kids are already doing when they're learning to code. This is kid programming today. It looks very different from the programming I did in, when I was eight. And it started with Scratch, which is a block language. And now Google has a version that's free and open source called Blockly. And that's what I'm using to develop the Jump Smart app. So what I was saying before is that Jump Smart takes kids through in the entire process of creation. Because in order to build a game on Jump Smart, they have to have this end goal in mind. And then they build towards that. They build the game, they test it, and they iterate it and improve upon it. And Jump Smart does just this. So I want to take you through my own process of creation of Jump Smart. I worked at the Artisans Asylum in Somerville, which is a large maker space. And with no engineering background, it was the perfect place for me to build this product because they had lots of people there, engineers there to help me and teach me how to do it, as well as equipment to use. So I started by building the frame, learning how to solder, wiring up my prototype, and I finally ended with this version that I have now which interacts with kids can step and interact with and understand the functionality of Jump Smart. But what I learned along the way is that talking to parents and any adults or kids made it so that they were the most excited when they got to think of the games and things that they would put on to Jump Smart. And that's why I realized it had to be something that kids could create and that kids could design. So I decided to test it out. This might look like a boring grid to you, but you'd be surprised what kids do with it when they get it. I knew they'd be a lot more creative than any, anything I could think of. One girl came up with a way of playing hopscotch against her friends so that they could race across the board. Another girl came up with a version of tic-tac-toe with four in a row instead of three in a row. And that means she'd have to completely reinvent the rules of tic-tac-toe and go through the a new logic of the game, which would be an incredibly interesting project for her to do. Jump Smart is entering the industry of STEAM, which stands for the integration of science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And these programs are popping up everywhere. They're in after-school programs, in schools, in libraries, and in summer camps. So what Jump Smart's going to do is start with a paid beta test in these locations of STEAM programs. And after a year of beta testing and getting the product right, we will launch as a consumer product because that is where kids and parents want this product. 
The other great thing about the steam industry is that it is exploding right now with new toys and parents and teachers can't get enough of them. They want options for these toys. You can see here, we have the Wonder Workshop, which is a small robot that kids code using the same language that I showed you before on a tablet. And Makey Makey, which is an inventor kit for kids. Both these products have been very successful on Kickstarter, meaning that people are willing to pay for the product before it even exists. Lego, you know Lego as a company, but they have a Mindstorms division, which is their robotics division of their company, and it's their most successful toy in history. And Little Bits was just funded. They're an electronic circuit company. They were just funded in June 2015, $44 million. That was less than 30 days ago. So this is definitely the time to be in this industry. And parents and, and educators are willing to pay high prices for these products. These are just the average prices, but some Little Bits and Mindstorm sets get up to four or $500 for a set. And JumpSmart will be right there with them at $100 to $250 depending on that final design that we get throughout the year of prototyping. Along the way, I've had a ton of help with this process. Throughout this entire summer, i have lucky to have been able to speak to all of these places and more. And all of them are on board with what I'm doing, and they're interested in, in following my progress throughout, and they want this product to succeed on the market. The YMCA is a, a, an organization which I will be partnering with, and in August, we'll be doing testing at their summer camps to help them build their three-year STEAM curriculum. I am looking for educators with a background in curriculum development to help my team, as well as hardware and software engineers to help me through the process of prototyping through the year. Additionally, I'm looking for other sites to test my prototype at these STEAM and educational institutions, and I'm currently fundraising $300,000 to pay for this prototyping process, getting that final design ready to launch as a consumer product in the market. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to letting you play with my prototype at my table and see what you'll create with JumpSmart.